So right now I've just jumped over into Optin Designer. As you can see, it's a cloud-based app. Everything is done in the browser. You simply log in and you can create all your campaigns, all your opt-in forms, all your pop-ups from one easy location. I'm going to go through each step now and show you how easy it is to be up and running in under a minute. So I've just logged in here. I'm going to click Create New. I'm going to give this a name. This name is for your own reference. Just click Create New. This loads up the opt-in form here in the dashboard with all the different options here on the side. So I'm just going to go through each thing in step and show you how easy it is to work. First of all, the canvas here. This is the default, pretty much the blank canvas. This is the start default opt-in form for everybody. But you've loads of options here to change this. You can make it horizontal. You can add icons. Loads of stuff. I'm going to quickly show you those, but I'm going to really concentrate on the templates that come with our system. We've got 30 templates for you which means everything you need to get started within a minute is right there. Along the top we have our different tools. You can drag in text, images, video. You can use our built-in marketing image library or you can draw a colored box. Everything you need to build a high converting slick opt-in form. So, Next thing I want to show you is templates. Click on templates here on the side. It just gives you a warning that it's going to overwrite the content and you'd see all of these templates fully loaded into the system. I'm going to pick one now that I think is cool and I like so Let's go for this one here. Watch what happens. It loads the entire thing in your canvas. And here's the beautiful part. In most other apps you see they might be described as drag and drop or what you see is what you get, but what you actually have is a very rigid framework of kind of stacked stacked elements. You can't drag things exactly where you want them. So let's say here you want to move your move your logo or move this headline. You just, you just drag it around. You want to move this book, drag it around. You want to edit some text, just right click on it. Just edit it. It's that simple. You can change the font. As I just did there, you can add images, you can add whatever you want. Everything you see here see here can be selected and changed. Here's your opt-in form. You can change this here, you can add your own custom code. Loads and loads of different options. Let's say you want to add some marketing graphics. Just drag down the clipboard icon there. Choose your category. I'm going to add some kind of a ribbon. I'm going to select this one for the top corner. We can just add it up here now. And you can add text over that. Loads and loads of different options. So that's one of the templates. Now let's say you want to use a different template. You just click templates up here and pick another one. It simply embeds the whole thing for you and everything is customizable. Looking over to the right here, you see our different options. We've got our form options, which I showed you. You can control every element of how the form looks. The font size, the input font size, padding, colors, border, uh, border width, border roundness, loads of stuff. For the button, you can set up your whole button here. You can control the text, the font, font size, etc., etc. The pop-up itself, then, You can control the background here, you can set, add your own backgrounds, you can upload your own backgrounds, you can use a colour, whatever you want. Again, full flexibility. And these are just a demo of some of the templates. You can also use the default template builder to create your own from scratch. And again, our clipart li library has all the graphics you need to do that. Next thing is autoresponder integration. You've, we've got Aweber, GetResponse and MailChimp. And you can also add custom form code if you use a different autoresponder. You simply right click on the form and you can add your code in here and we can help you out with that as well and support if you have any problems. So once you've set up your form, got it looking the way you want, you simply save it here and you can actually preview it as well to see how it's going to look in the browser. There it is there now, everything's good to go. And we'll go back out to our dashboard now and I'm going to show you how you add actually add this now to your page. You can see the options here, you've got the edit option code option which is what I'm going to show you now. The stats option, you can see how many people have opted in and it's got a seven day performance there for you. Very useful. And you can change the chart, you can download the image, all sorts of stuff there. So if we go into code now this shows you the four different types of opt-in. We've got a standard embedded opt-in form, we've got a two-step opt-in, we've got an optional auto open code which opens it as an overlay and we've got an exit pop-up the beauty of this is, and it goes back to what I said at the start of the video, this makes the opt-in form be on your page but it's not triggered until 
someone clicks a button or until a certain amount of time has passed and that way it's not going to be hated as much by the search engines and you're still going to get the benefit of getting people opting in.